Hey, I'm Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here at the Wild Card Boxing Gym in Los Angeles for Manny Pacquiao's open workout. He's going to be taking on Miguel Cotto on November 14th on HBO Pay-Per-View. This is a great open workout. Not only do we get to see the man who has won six titles in six different weight classes, but we get to see some of his friends as well. He, over my shoulder, Mickey Rourke is here to support Freddie Roach, a man he loves very well. That is uh, Manny Pacquiao's coach, of course. And Manny is just putting on a great show for us. It's going to be a heck of a fight on November 14th. I think the best fighters have heart, endurance, aggression, and technique. Which one of those do you think has gotten you the furthest in your career? In um, heart, in, uh, you know, uh, believe God, and, you know, train hard, sacrifice. You've been doing this for about 14 years. Have your rituals changed before a fight, or do you still do the same things? And if so, what do you do? Well, um, compared to the, uh, the last five years, I'm improving right now uh, in, my, in my boxing skill because uh, I'm studying, uh, you know, everybody knows that boxing is hard, but, you know, I'm thinking that uh, we know that boxing is hard, but can we, we, we find out that we can make it easier? That's what we think. It's hard to believe that you're still improving. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to do. <laughs> I thought it maybe he gets soft after a while after winning a couple of world titles. Maybe he might think he knows it all. He still wants to get better, and his work ethic has never changed. How does he affect you and your business? How does he affect how you do your job? Because obviously, it's got to be challenging to work with somebody who needs to be challenged so much. It's, it works out well because at this point, when I show him a new move, he'll make adjustments with with me to make it more comfortable for him. So it, uh, it, it, see if I if, if he does it my way is be like forcing him but when he when he critiques my move a little bit and then I know that it's natural to him he's gonna do it he's gonna make the move with, with no no problems at all I mean it's not forced on him so it's kind of a team now it's just uh, he knows as much as I do at this point that's got it's a good symbiotic relationship you have there very very good Manny's going to fight, probably uh, have to do some things differently with a bigger opponent uh, as Cotto. Cotto's also, he's no schlub, you know, he's a, he's a world champion, he's a very smart fighter, and he's, and he's strong as a horse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and he's going to be in shape. Right. Well, I am a woman, and I do know that size does matter. <laughs> uh, size does matter. <laughs> Baby. Um, but yeah, that's one of those things where, you know, obviously Manny has gone up before to face some power and, you know, face some bigger people. He obviously uh, took Oscar down, you know, probably maybe Oscar yeah. was depleted Oscar, too much. I think after, after maybe perhaps his prime, you know, Cotto is a fighter who's in his prime, who, I mean, got banged up with Margarito for whatever reasons, but, you know, it's like... This is not a walk in the. This is not going to be a walk in the park for Manny. This this guy's a world class fighter. Uh, Manny has you know his style, his speed. You know the fact that he's a southpaw and he's going to give a man. He's going to give. He's not going to give Cotto a target. I don't think Manny's going to be very easy to hit. I don't think Cotto has seen anybody with this kind of speed. I don't think so either. And he's also a little guy with not a little guy, but he's a little guy with a lot of power. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.